Hey sweeties, it is fall time and this is Vlogtober day four. So let's get into how we made this set today. It came out super, super cute. <laughs> Okay, so this video is really going to be focused around the design. So the nails are already prepped. I am using these BT Art Box nails that I've mentioned in my last nail video. So y'all could definitely go check that out, but I'll link them down below for y'all as well. I really like these nails because they are super sturdy, but that's the original length of them. And I used this little cutter to go ahead and cut them down. I filed and buffed them, and then I went over them with a base coat from Madam Glam and I cured it for 30 to 60 seconds and this is where we are now. So I'm going to go in with this color from Madam Glam. It is called Focus. It is this pretty yellow color. Now, one of my subscribers or my sweetie said that it's giving like a mustard yellow. I'm like French mustard, the brand French, and it definitely is, but it's not super bright. Like once it's applied on the nail, it's definitely given that fall yellow is super pretty, super soft. So I'm gonna go in with a coat of that on the index finger, and then for the thumb, the middle, and the ring finger, we are going to be using my favorite from Madame Glam, their pink builder gel. And as y'all say, in pretty much my last couple nail videos because I have been using this color in my last couple nail videos the pink builder gel from Madam Glam is super thick so you don't want too thick of a coat when it comes to this but the focus the yellow is not as thick as this is very smooth and you could just use a regular you know a normal coat on that so we're going to leave the pinky alone for now because we do have something special for that. And you cure it and then you go ahead and do a second coat, which I know I always do off camera. Okay, so now the designing or the nail art. So we are starting with the middle finger because it is the simplest design <laughs> for now. And then we are just going to do a simple French. Now, as I mentioned in my last nail video, I'm still practicing my French tips. And I, like I said, I always feel like it come out too thick. So I'm trying like a higher French on this nail and i actually really really like it so we're going in with one coat of the focus to create a french tip and then cure it and then you go in with a second coat so just a disclaimer because i didn't tell y'all you know which i would need this nail and the thumbnail will have a um a stone on there some type of fine stone or whatever you want to put on there. You don't have to put anything on it. Honestly, you can leave it as is. But just just, <laughs> just to prepare you. Next, we are going to go in with our ring finger. So we are going to do a plaid design. I'm using Model 1's white gel liner. And it already comes with this tip or this brush. So I really like this. It come, The set that I bought, it came with white black gold and silver so i thought that was pretty good i will be linking that down below for y'all as well but you just want to go ahead and start with your white you can use any colors but i felt like white brown and like this other glitter polish that y'all will see later in the video look best with the focus the yellow color so you just want to make like a cross but the horizontal line you want it to be further line, further down the nail and then you want to make both of these little lines kind of thick you know not a skinny cross or a skinny t you want them thick because you got to go inside of the lines and you know just make them thick and then you cure that and then as mentioned with every step depending on not every step but for most steps, you always want to do a second coat. So I did cure that and I went in again with a second coat. And now I'm going to be using this brown from Model Ones as well. And then basically just going over the outlines or the perimeter of the cross. 
Now, I didn't do a second coat of these colors here, the brown, and then you'll see I used black as well. I didn't do a second coat. I just made sure that the polish was thick enough to be seen and not too light. So you'll see me just keep going over it, making it darker basically. And then we're gonna cure it. And next I'm using the black gel liner from Model Ones that came in a set that I was telling y'all about and just making a thin line in between the two brown lines to give it that plaid look or start to give it that plaid look. It is super, super cute. And it's, it's not, I'm not going to say it's easy because you got to keep your hand straight, you know, so you can get the straight lines and it won't be all wiggly. But putting your pinky like resting your pinky on your other nails like you see i have my pinky rested on my what is that <laughs> don't laugh at me y'all resting on my index finger on my other hand it really helps to keep the brush straight so this is the glitter that i was telling y'all about it's from madam glam it's called night on mars super cute super folly what am i talking about folly not even a word <laughs> <laughs> but it's giving very much fall so i decided to use that as the little accent line on the other side and i didn't do a second coat with this either i just made it thick enough so like i said it can be seen all right next we are going to go on the index finger and we're going to be doing the sweater design so y'all remember in my last video i told y'all i couldn't find my skinny brush and i told y'all i found it that day after i did the nail set and this is what i'm talking about you see how the lines are more precise you can actually see the lines so you just want to make like dotted lines on both sides and then cross or connect the one line to the second line i don't know how to explain it y'all i really don't and i'll probably do a video slow down just to give y'all a better view but once you have the sweater design you want to draw two lines on the outside of that and then you can put dots you can put diagonal lines on the further outer side whatever you want to do but when you have your design in mind and when you have it painted on the nail, you don't want to cure it. You actually just want to take some acrylic powder. This is a clear acrylic powder from Savy Land. Of course, I got it from Amazon. So I just pour it over the wet polish. Now, a lot of people, they will use like a little scooper, but I feel like the scooper, it takes too long. And y'all know I'm lazy. I ain't got time. But after you pour your acrylic powder on, you cure it and then you dust it off. So now we are at the pinky. Remember I told y'all we didn't put anything on there but that base coat. So I had these glitters. I, please don't get me the line yet. I don't know where I got them from. But I can tell you it's either from Amazon or Timu. And I'm leaning more towards Timu. So I'll go ahead and just check my orders. And if that's the case, I'll link it down below. But I'm going in with another layer of the base coat. And then we're going to just sprinkle the glitter on it. And this is just going to be a full glitter nail. Super simple, super cute, super easy. So I feel like this was the easiest, the, the easiest nail art or design on this set. So once you got your glitter all on there, you pat it in and then you go ahead and cure it. Now, I thought I was recording when I did the French glitter, but you literally just take a base coat, a clear polish, whatever, you know, you could take a brown polish and, you know, make a French and you don't cure it. You just put the glitter on it, just like I did with the pinky, put the glitter on it, pat it in and cure it. So that's how the set is looking, y'all. Next, we are going to end with my favorite part, the stones. And I got these stones from Timu. I know that for sure. And they are like gold. I usually use like a silver or like, it'd be like, it's not silver. I don't know what it's called, what the color is called, but I think it's, I don't know. I ain't even going to start lying. But these are gold and I feel like it just goes with the set, with the season and just tying everything in and making it look cohesive with the color scheme and everything. But I'm using the McCart rhinestone glue and just 
placing stones where I feel as though will look cute. And I thought my stone placement on this nail was super cute, so cute that I went ahead and did it with the thumb as well off camera. But that's how the set is looking, y'all. It's so cute. It's super, super cute. So I'm using this, this top coat and I'm just going over all of the nails except for the index finger, the sweater design. I don't like how the sweater design looks with a shiny coat. I prefer it to be matte. So I went ahead and skipped that now. But of course, y'all, we're going to go ahead and apply the top coat, cure it for 60 seconds, and then we're going to apply them. Y'all probably thinking like, this girl got orange nails on one hand, yellow nails on the next. I did record these videos on the same day but the orange nails they are just sweater french nails and that video is already posted so i'll link that down below just in case y'all want to check that out but once the nails are top coated and cured you go ahead and you just square them out so they won't be looking all bulky at the top and you dust them off and then you apply them and you get your kds glue and you just put them on you put them on now y'all know depending on how i feel i'll keep nails on i'll keep no i'll take them off that same day so this set i decided not to keep on only because i'm not keeping the other nails on i'm taking those off both of them completely off as i'm doing this voiceover i still have them both on but i have to make the other hand because i only made five of each so once i make the other hand or the other five for the other hand what <laughs> then i'll go ahead and place some on my fingers but you do want to prep your nails if you decide to keep them on a little bit longer so once they're on you get your cuticle oil you and then you take pictures of your nails because they came out so so cute let me know how y'all feel about these nails in the comments but that's it y'all i thank y'all so so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe